so I was going from memory on this. Uh, Tim, Kansas is the sunflower state, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I, I got my nicknames right there. <laughs> uh, so uh, with this, you know, with us sitting here talking about, you know, Baylor, K-State this week, I felt like it was appropriate. Uh, we, you know, teams can't look ahead. We can here on the pod. Uh, <laughs> but let's look ahead to next week's Kansas K-State game in Lawrence. So assuming K-State takes care of Baylor, which we've all said that should happen. Um, and then the Jayhawks handle what I would say is a mediocre Texas Tech team. Um, just how big will this game be? And where will it rank kind of in the history of that rivalry? Tim, you've seen that rivalry up close. What do you say? Mm-hmm. It, it It's it's going to be huge. I mean, especially uh, from the from the Kansas side, from the KU side. It's, it's going to be massive. Um, it should be if, if 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 both teams win. Uh, I don't know about the AP, but at least in the in the college football playoff rankings, it will be the first time uh, both teams play each other ranked. The last time that they played each other ranked, both ranked in any poll, uh, I believe was 1995, mm. and I think that's the only time, or maybe one of two times in the series history. Uh, that, that that has happened. There may have been one time in like the 70s when, where they were both ranked. And I you got to go back and look at that before uh, before, <laughs> before I start writing stuff up for next week. But um, it's massive. I mean, K-State's won 15 straight. Mm. Uh, K's been so bad for so long. They finally have something going. Leipold has done wonders for this team. Um it's it's in, in the past when when KU has had a pul- pulse over the last twenty five years or whatever, and uh, the the coach at K State hasn't been Ron Prince. Uh, <laughs> K State has handled KU for a handily in that ninety five game. They won like sixty fifty six to seven or something like that. I mean, K State ran over them, even though KU was ranked. Uh, I don't expect that to happen. I think this is a a much better KU team. I think that they. Uh, they got talent everywhere. Their, their their defense is so improved from what they were. That was kind of obviously their bugaboo last year was they, you know, were very flashy on offense, but they just could not stop anyone defensively. They've gotten that figured out. Uh, even if they don't have Jalen Daniels, which that's up in the air. We don't even know if we're going to see him for the rest of the year or if he's going to try to redshirt because I don't even think he's played four games this season. Jason Bean has shown that he is uh, very dangerous. He's fast. He's tough to stop. They got receiving threats everywhere. Um, you know, K-State fans are, you know, they probably don't want to admit it, but they're looking at this game like this is this is as scary as this rivalry has been in quite some time since probably uh, probably 2007, the, the, uh, uh, the Orange Bowl year for them. Yeah. So it's... Uh, it, it, it'll be exciting. It'll be a fun atmosphere in Lawrence. That's the other uh, kind of big part of it. It is in Lawrence. Um, it's not in Manhattan. I think K-State fans would probably feel a little better if it was uh, mm-hmm. at home. Um, I don't think that K-State fans will uh, have the opportunity to uh, fill uh, David Booth Memorial Stadium with as many K-State fans as they normally do um, mm-hmm. in, in past years. I think that uh, those tickets are going to get bought up. Uh, by uh, you know, KU fans. Basketball season isn't in full swing yet, so there's still, <laughs> you know, more than enough uh, KU fans that care about football, at least enough for the next month or so to uh, to show up. Um, it'll be interesting. Yeah. I'm, it's 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 exciting to uh, it's exciting that it matters. Yeah. Um, and I think all K State fans would admit that, even if they're not super excited about that fact <laughs> yeah i would say the winner would probably still have a pretty good fighting chance at a, at a big 12 title game yeah Paris, whereas... especially yeah especially ku after beating oklahoma i mean right. that's that's a uh, k-state still has you know they have tiebreaker lost to oklahoma state and texas you know ku kind of has an open open path to uh um to arlington if if if, if a couple things happen k-state definitely needs more to go their way to, to yeah, get back there. Yeah. John, you've been to Lawrence a bunch, as Tim said, where 
uh, fans had kind of checked out to basketball season already. There were plenty of good seats available. There shouldn't be for that game, as Tim said, right? Well, I do remember one time, the night before the Baylor-Kansas game in Lawrence, they had Midnight Madness for basketball, and it was an 11 a.m. kickoff. And <laughs> there might have been a couple thousand people who <laughs> actually woke up and came to the game. Uh, but, yeah, that atmosphere is, you know, they've been bad for so long. That atmosphere is usually just kind of dead around there for, for football. Um, but, but yeah, it's great to see that, you know, they've made this kind of revival and, and can actually compete against K-State, uh, you know, but uh, we'll see. I, I would probably still pick K-State in that game, but uh, it's good to see, you know, they both have good teams. Zach, I mean, did you have this one circled on your calendar at the start of the year? I mean, I think I have it circled on my calendar as soon as Mel Tucker got fired. I think Michigan State administration is looking at uh, judging both of the coaches in that game. I, this wouldn't be a one true podcast if I didn't bring up Michigan State at least once, right? Fair enough. So, uh, no, but I like I I agree with everybody. It's I, these in-state rivalry games just mean so much, and it's just it's what makes college football so cool. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm absolutely looking forward to that kid, just watching it from a fan perspective. Yeah, it was really cool to see when the Big 12 released its schedule matrix, which is fun to say, you know, the matrix, uh, uh, that there were four protected rivalries. And, of course, Baylor TCU is one. I mean, that's a given. Uh, those two hate each other. Uh, Revivalry. Yeah, the rivalry, which is a dumb name, but nevertheless, it's a good rivalry. <laughs> I like I like it a lot. <laughs> so then you got BYU Utah, which obviously makes a lot of sense. Arizona, Arizona State, and then of course Kansas and K State. And as Tim said, uh, and I hate to even bring this up because uh, this is stinging my heart right now, but uh, I wrote a column a few weeks back. Uh, well, I wrote a couple of columns about the Astros and Rangers and, and talked about how um, when one's been up, the other's been down and, you know, vice versa. And, uh, you know, now we have a rivalry, you know, now we have a rivalry because they're both good. And, you know, and then if they meet in the playoffs, oh, my gosh, that'll take it to another level. Well, guess what? They met in the playoffs and that sucked. <laughs> As an Astros fan, that sucked. Uh, but uh, <laughs> John's loving it. He's a Rangers fan. But uh, at any rate, I I think it's cool that Kansas and Kansas State are good. Um, I mentioned, you know, how Chris Kleiman seems like a perfect fit at, at in Manhattan. Um, I know Lance Leipold's name comes up in like every coaching search article out there but man if kansas can keep that guy uh you know how huge would that be because uh to me i i did sort of look at kansas last year as potentially a blip on the radar and then he comes back this year and they're playing well again and so i think you got to give him a ton of credit for you know getting this thing going in the right direction um so yeah that one's gonna be a lot of fun uh do we know Tim, what time that one has? They have they set the game time on that one? Not yet, not yet. I think that'll that be. It feels a, like a good a night Sunday. Game. Yeah, yeah, it feels yeah. like a good night game if they if they want to go that route. I mean that that could be prime time. It'll so, be interesting. Yeah. Yeah.